A few weeks ago, I said I don't do my husband's laundry. And a lot of people are saying, whoa, whoa, whoa. Those are small acts of kindness. Why wouldn't you want to do that for your partner? But here's the thing. Small acts of kindness that are mostly domestic labor just add up to work at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. So here's a list of things that I don't do for my husband. You all know I don't do his laundry. He can do that himself. I do my laundry and we do the kids' laundry. But he does his own. I don't cook right. dinner. He cooks dinner every single night. I do breakfast and lunch for us and our kids. I don't pack him a lunch. If he's hungry, he'll figure out what he's gonna eat for lunch the same way that I do. I don't make his doctor's appointments because guess what? He's not making mine. Would it be kind of me to do that? For sure. Is it my job? Absolutely not. I want him to be healthy, but he's a grown ass man and he can book his own appointments, right? <laughs> There's a lot of things that I don't do for my husband. I don't schedule his haircuts. I don't pack his clothes for vacation. Right? I don't do those things. I don't buy him new underwear when it's got holes in it. All of those are things that he's a grown man and he can do himself. Can I do small acts of kindness for him? Of course I can. And I do. I see a vinyl that I think he's going to like because he's creating a vinyl collection. I buy it. I'm at the store and I see something that I think he might enjoy eating. I buy it. I find a new non-alcoholic beer that he wants to try out. I buy it. Right? Those are small acts of kindness. Doing his laundry, cooking him dinner, making him lunch, booking his doctor's appointments, all those things, that's domestic labor. Those are chores. Those are not acts of kindness. Do I do them occasionally when he's working a lot? Of course. Do I cook dinner sometimes when he's had a really long day? Of course. But me not doing that does not mean that I don't show him love or kindness. They're different things. It is not my job as a wife. It is not in my job description to do all the domestic labor as small acts of kindness to my partner and receive nothing in return. I agree with this commenter. If it's going both ways, fantastic. But oftentimes domestic labor, especially when you have children, adds up. And so no, I am not my husband's personal secretary or his personal assistant. I am none of those things. I am his partner. I am his equal. And I do not have to do things to cater to him and serve him at all times to be kind and loving for him. <laughs> You serious? Well, I'll be like white feminist, so or share activist. <laughs> Sorry. It's just this video should actually be titled How I Got My Husband to Cheat on Me with a Secretary because I don't do shit for him because I'm a feminist in my marriage. <laughs> there you go, TikTok wife of the year. Fix it for you. Anyway, conservative YouTube has been all over this video and let's talk about it. But before we get into it, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss another episode of the Nigerian Take with Steel. And whilst you're at it, like and share this video. Ooh, I'm going to enjoy this one because like I said, conservative YouTube has been raging on about this video. Not just them really, it's pretty much mini viral now. <laughs> on the first watch, I'm thinking, yup, he's cheating. And since you're not his PA or his secretary, he's cheating with whosoever is that for him. I'm not sorry to be that girl or that woman to tell you that. It is what it is. Now, that is the surface jokey me reacting, but let's take a closer look at it, shall we? Contrary to what conservatives are saying, this actually makes perfect sense. And I'll tell you why. The concept of knowing whose role is what in a marriage is absolutely fine. She is his wife, is equal, and not his servant or helper. From a logic only standpoint, by logic, I mean, she would have brain in control. This works fine. But the problem is that, no, we are not really in control of much, are we? For instance, the ceiling in this room could come down on me right now, and just like that, I'm gone. What I'm trying to say is, this is one of those situations you think you have it all figured out, but in reality, it never actually works out as you plan. The thing is, you don't control your spouse's prolonged, prolonged reactions to these things, because you're not them and they're not you either. That's why you marry someone that's not you. A spouse might, out of love, overlook the things that you're not doing for them, but it will open up room for someone else to just waltz in and do all those things for them. Then they start to crave it because they've always wanted it, always wanted it, and didn't realize it until the said hot secretary, <laughs> joking, <laughs> is now doing it for them. See, bringing activism into your marriage is probably a big mistake for this reason. Yes, yes, granted, he's a grown man. Yes, you're his equal, but something is going to give if you're keeping scores and you feel the need to not do those things because you somehow classify them as chores. And chores. Now, this is something I learned growing up, sometimes the hard way. 
If you're being right to make a statement, you have to give up someone or something to make that statement. Your ego will get fulfilled, but your heart will lose the more important fulfillment of being loved. Now, obviously, sometimes you do need to make a statement, but you should learn first when it is required to do that and when it is not. TikTok wife of the year over here clearly hasn't understood that yet. If she's thinking packing your husband's lunch is labor and not an act of kindness, what is wrong with you? To further explain that point, she confidently describes her version of acts of kindness as her buying him stuff. Can I do small acts of kindness for him? Of course I can. I'm at the store and I see something that I think he might enjoy eating. I buy it. <laughs> I suppose she can pat herself on the back for that. Woo! wife of the year. I don't pack my husband's lunch, but I do buy him ice cream. Yay! <laughs> Equating material things to acts of kindness is not just silly, but also downright childish. Let me give you an instance. There's a friend of mine, and obviously I can't disclose too much about him because I haven't asked his permission to talk about him on the channel, but he's like possibly the most transactional person I've ever met. And he also has this side to him where he wants certain things. Coincidentally, he always seems to meet ladies that are quite shallow and don't offer him much value beyond the transactional, if you know what I mean by that. I've known him for some years now. Each time I look at him, I tell him the same thing and he doesn't get it. He doesn't get that it is because he's such a transactional person, he's attracting those types of women and he still hasn't found someone that can hold that type, the type of value system he requires but doesn't have himself so do you catch my drifts on that you, your mind has to be so warped if you think that that is how humans operate we often think that money is important and things like that but a lot of things that humans consider to be very important turns out not to be so you see with her she's thinking oh i've got this planned out uh, i'm gonna do this for my husband because this is what her acts of kindness but if there was something called an acts of kindness uh, scale buying stuff will be at the bottom of that scale and those things she terms as labor and chores those are acts of service they would be the one considered kindness that that is in fact what humans consider kindness for the most part there is a reason why a person can be filthy rich and still be depressed money and buying stuff is nowhere near as important as having a proper support system and somebody supporting you it's the same reason why you can find some people who are dirt poor and are still happy it's because they have family they have support you don't believe me why are there more than 20 Mother's Day celebration in the year and there's just one Father's Day? It's because mothers are perceived to do more kindness for their kids while fathers just buy stuff. So she, she doesn't really know what she's talking about. Furthermore, between the two genders, women react positively to gifts and men react positively to acts of service. If I focus on women for a second here, why do women react positively to useless gifts? Useless to me because I personally don't like roses. <laughs> useless gifts like roses and flowers, which will likely wither and die. Well, it's because it's the thought that counts. Even when a gift is a material thing, the positive reaction to that gift has very little to do with the material, but what the material signifies to them. And what does it signify to them, you ask? It signifies that a man is willing to work his ass off and blow his money, the money that he made, just to show them some interest and some care. On the flip side, men do not rate your spending money on them anywhere near as highly as they rate your doing the things she terms as labor and chores for them. When a woman cares for a man through these things, it really doesn't get any better than that for him. You can spend all the money you want, it's not going to value it as much as you packing him lunch, believe it or not. Spending money on a venue collection, collection is cool, but far less valuable than any of that stuff you choose not to do for him. It's like offering copper whilst you're hiding the gold. The most important thing I think I even failed to mention is why on earth is this on TikTok? There are so many other ways you can do a video like this. There are so many other ways you can give these examples without involving your marriage and your family. So why on earth are you saying it on TikTok? I wonder how the man feels, you know, hearing his wife say all this thing, although he might be just as silly as she is. I mean, they are married after all. This, this is a problem. 
this is a problem. Keep your stuff private. You're keeping scores. You're refusing to do shit for your husband. Really basic things that should not even be considered as chores. And then you come and publish it on the internet. What are you, some kind of psycho? But maybe it's not as extreme as it came out. There's also that, you know, sometimes you have to be pretty precise on these videos and you might not be able to give as much nuance as you would like. So I hope, hope for her case that is not that extreme and this is just something very, very minor, not something she actually does practice on a regular basis. Because if she does, hmm, I'm going to need an update in like five years because I will not be surprised if she's divorced or the man has cheated. Now, I'm not wishing that on anyone, of course. I'm just curious because actions have reactions. And this is pretty much how you open up your marriage to the wolves, you know, to come eat your partner up. If you're not his secretary and you're not his PA, good on you. You're right. You're none of those things. But somebody else is. And best believe he's going to end up with that person. My name is Dio. Thank you for watching. So guys, what are your thoughts on this video? What she said? Leave a comment below and I will see you on the next one. Odabo.